I click on this back arrow again and go to the previous page of the website. Let's start a new project. Click on new project and name the project as project 9C. Click on the create button here. Okay, now you have entered the project. Now we are going to create a screen saver. For this, we need two variables, active and reverse. First, let's create these two variables. After clicking variables, click the make a variable button, give the name of the variable as active and click OK. In this way, click the make a variable button again. Give the name of this variable as reverse and click OK. At the start, the value of the active variable should be zero and all the LEDs should be off. For that, let's drag a set reverse to zero code block under variables into the on start code block. Click on the arrow in front of reverse and select active. Now a show LEDs code block in basics is dragged here. Next. Let's see how to create a screensaver. The screensaver needs to be activated when the value of the active variable becomes zero. The LEDs in the last row needs to turn on and off. Let's create the code for that now. Into the forever code block, I drag an if code block under the logic. For the condition, let's connect a code block with the equal sign under logic. Drag the active code block under variables to the left side of the equal sign and give 0 to the right side. OK. Now, if the value of the active variable is 0, that means if the condition is true, the screen saver will be activated. Let's drag a show LEDs code block under basics here. I selected LEDs like this. Now, because the LEDs around here need to turn on and off, I drag a for do code block under loops here. Since there are 5 LEDs, the loop needs to repeat 5 times from the value of the index variable from 0 to 4. First, let's turn on the LED like 0, 0. I'm going to drag a plot x colon y colon code block under LED here. For x, connect the index code block under variables and keep y as 0. Again, the vertical LED row also needs to light up in this way. First, drag a first code block under basic here. Let's give the time as 50 milliseconds. Drag a plot x colon y colon code block under LED again. For y, connect the index code block under variables and keep x as 0. Back here, drag a post code block under basics and set the time as 0 milliseconds. OK, now we have lit the horizontal LED row from 0, 0 to 4, 0 LED and the vertical LED row from 0, 0 to 0, 4. In this way, let's light the vertical LED row from 4, 0 to 4, 4 and the horizontal row from 4, 4 to 0, 4. For that, I right click on this 4 do code block and duplicate it. Now in the duplicated code block, let's change the necessary places. Remove the index code block from here and connect a reverse code block under variables. Next, from plot x colon y colon code block, remove the index code block and connect 4 for the x and the reverse code block in the variable for y. In the next plot x colon y colon code block, remove the index code block and connect 4 for y and for x the reverse code block in the variables. OK. Now, in the surrounding rows, the LEDs are lit. Next, in the same way, it is necessary to turn off the LEDs in these rows. For that, we can use the unplot code block under the LED. Let's prepare the code block for this now. As before, I drag a for do code block under loops here. Since there are 5 LEDs, the loop needs to be repeated 5 times from the value of the index variable from 0 to 4. First, let's turn off the LEDs like 0, 0. I'm going to drag an unplot x colon y colon code block under LED here. For x, connect the index code block under variables and keep y as 0. It is necessary to turn off the vertical LED row in the same way. First, drag a post code block under basic here. Let's give the time as 50 milliseconds. Drag an unplot x colon y colon code block under the LED again. 
For y, connect the index code block under variables and keep x as 0. Back here, drag a post code block under basic and set the time as 50 milliseconds. OK, now we have turned off the horizontal LED row from LED 00 to LED 40 and the vertical LED row from 00 to 04. In this way, let's turn off the vertical LED row from 40 to 44 and the horizontal row from 44 to 04. For that, I right click on this for do code block and duplicate it. Now, in the duplicated code block, let's change the necessary places. Remove the index code block from here and connect reverse code block under variables. Next, remove the index code block from the unplot x colon y colon code block and connect the reverse code block in variables for y and give x as 4. In the next unplot x colon y colon code block, remove the index code block and connect 4 for y and the reverse code block for x in the variables. OK, now we have created the code for when the screen is inactive or when the value of the active variable is 0. If the value of the active variable is equal to 1, the screen saver will stop and display welcome. For that, let's drag a show string code block under basics into the else section. I am typing welcome here. OK, now we are almost done with the code. But there is another small part. If the screen saver stops and the screen is activated, we have not yet provided what needs to happen. When you tilt the micro bit to the left, or to the right, activate the screen. For that, an onshake code block under input is dragged here. Click on the arrow in front of shake and select tilt left. Now drag a set reverse to zero code block in the variables into the on tilt left code block and change the variable to active here. Here give one for the value. OK, I'm also duplicating this code block for the arrow tilt right. In this way, right click on the code block and duplicate it. In the duplicated code block, click on the arrow in front of tilt left and select tilt right. OK, now let's click the play button and see. Also, you can run this project through the micro bit device and watch the output. If you made it in this way, you little ones are very talented. If you want to share this project, Click the second share button on the upper right side of the interface and click on the publish to share button here. Now you can copy and share this link. To see the creation you have made, WhatsApp it to the number note 76812 Tell your friends about the creation as well. Send it to me and also send it to your friends to see this app. And one more thing, you too can join the DP Coding School Telegram group. Try to be the DP Code Jam best of the week once every week. For that, stay in touch with us. And one more thing, join our DP Coding Club and now you can start a DP Coding Club in your school. We are ready to give you all the guidance for that. If you want to start a DP Coding Club in any school where computer labs are available, make a request through the principal to the email address info at dpcc.lk. OK, let's meet with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a nice day.